and let's start to customize Windows 10. First, I want to show you my version of the Windows. So if I type about in start menu and if I choose this about your PC, you can see here I have Windows 10 Pro version 20H2. And before we start to make any change to the Windows, it is always good to make a restore point. So in start menu, one more time, type restore and then choose create a restore point. Then select local disk C, click create name, click create one more time. Okay, the restore point was created. Close this, click A. And the first step, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial, how to customize Windows 10 is to apply a custom theme. There is more five steps that I need to do, but the first step is to apply custom theme. And before you apply any custom theme for Windows 10, you need to know that you need to patch your Windows and how to do that. You can watch my tutorial, how to patch Windows 10 or Windows 11 for custom theme. This is most updated tutorial on my channel and it's working. So after you patch your windows, uh, you can install any custom team. So for uh, this tutorial of customization windows, I'm using this custom team. Here's the download link. And in order to download from DeviantArt, you need to make a free account. Of course, when you make a free account, you can download anything. So here's the download link. And when you download the team, go to the your location, just extra the files from the WinRAR, go to the folder, go to this Windows 10 plus 11 teams. Uh, we have uh, two folders. We have dark mode only. This is a team with less bug and we have pure dark. So it may cause uh, more bugs in the team. So I will choose this dark mode only and I will select everything, copy local disk C windows then go to the resources go to the teams right click and paste after you do that go to the personalize then go to the teams and just find your team that you have pasted uh, like you see we have many versions of this team but for this tutorial i will use this one okay the team is applied and we have a completely new custom team and now because I have start is back plus plus, uh, I will go to the start is back configuration. So right click and I will go to the properties and here in appearance, I can choose or select design of the start menu and the taskbar. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this. I will click apply and let's see. Then uh, I will go to the start menu and here number of the recent programs to display. I will set to zero apply now it's much better and i have already set custom taskbar coloring and start menu coloring so you can choose uh, many of the options here in the start with back plus plus but i'm gonna leave it like this so i will click ok and like i say the next step are the custom icon pack i am using the 70sp application and i will show you right now what you need to do uh you need to download this app 70sp also it is from the deviantart so here's the download link and then you need to download this file this is actually a custom theme with custom icon pack for windows 10 but i i'm gonna download this only because of the icon pack so download it after you do that go to the your location and here uh, we have a 70 sp app and we have the theme and the custom icon pack and now uh, what i want to show you uh, this is not a virus uh, because sometimes when i'm using 70 sp app to install the custom icon pack my antivirus uh, will stop the application to do that and so i will go to the avas shield control and i will disable it for one hour let's say so I will click disable for one hour. Okay, stop. And now I can extract the files from the 70SP app. And then I'm gonna extract the key OZ, custom windows team and the icon packs. Okay, now first go to the key OZ. And this is, uh, like I said, a custom team. But here I'm only looking for the icon packs. So here's the icon packs. There is one way to install this icon pack and there is another way. The first one is to install this icon pack with iPack, but only if you have a Windows 10 up to the 1809. So this is only 
if you have Windows 10 up to this build and now how to install it just right click rename and then remove this and hit the enter click yes so this is installation of the icons with IPEC now click here I accept go next patch all files and then go next and the IPEC builder will install the custom icon pack on the Windows 10 I will close this because I'm gonna install this icon pack using 70SP so I will go to the 70SP and this is only if you have a Windows 10 1903 and up and because of the my Windows is version 20H2 I'm gonna use 70SP so what you need to do here uh, just rename remove this hit the enter click yes now we have the custom icon pack in Vinular archive or 7-zip then go back go back to the 70sp app and now here also right click rename and rename this to the exe hit enter click yes now we have 70sp app right click open click yes here one moment please now here go to the add a custom pack and then go to the your location of the custom icon pack you have just renamed and my location is desktop KOZ for Windows 10 icon pack 70SP and I will choose this icon pack click open and now when you select the icon pack here uh, you need to have this selected 70SP KOZ uh, here we have extra and we have options and in here in 70sp you can uncheck this box so uncheck this if if this box is checked just uncheck because we don't need a restore point when patching because we have already created a restore point and creating a restore point with 70sp it's gonna take a lot of time so I'm just gonna click uncheck and you can save the options now when you do that what you need to do uh, I'm gonna click start patching okay now when you get this message would you like to reboot now click yes if you click no the patching will not take effect so I will click yes and I will be back okay after restarting you should get this message from the 70sp app the system has been patched and click ok here and if I open window explorer you can see I have custom icons but not all of icons are changed some of the are still windows default icons if you don't like this you can simply go to the control panel file explorer options here in the view tab check this box always show icons never thumbnails click ok and then you should get this completely new custom icon pack and if I open program files you can see everything is changed to the custom icon pack that I just installed okay the team and the icon pack are installed and applied on my windows now the next step is rainmeter and you may already know for rainmeter and the rainmeter schemes so what you need to do here simply go to the rainmeter.net and download the rainmeter and install it and so when you download and install rainmeter uh, i'm gonna use these three schemes for rainmeter so this is the first one this one and this one and I'm gonna use uh, from each skin something and you already know where to download here's the download button so when you download each skin so here's the rainmeter uh, simply double click and click install and I have already set up the skin I will just go to the rainmeter right click manage and from here uh, you have a uh, three folders folders are skins of course and here I'm gonna load the date okay I will go to the next skin extender and I'm gonna load the clock dock and I'm gonna load the time of day and the last one is glass weather so just click load this is only one skin and I'm gonna close this so that's that's it I'm uh, I'm not gonna apply whole folders of the skins so I just applied what I need and what I like so here's the dock with these amazing shortcuts uh, this this is a skin of the day and this is the time and here we have uh, one little message 
and on the right side we have glass weather so here if you want, if you want to change the location just right click and go to the edit skin scroll down and here you have url so how to change the location from random city to your i will leave this link in the description below or you can just type yahoo weather and here click on change location and then type your city or zip code i'm gonna type city Banja Luka and I'm gonna hit the enter here we go now I'm gonna change this to Celsius I'm gonna copy this link now and then just right click and paste the link here and after you paste the link right click on the skin and refresh the skin and you should see your location okay that's it I'm done with Raymeter and Raymeter skin the next step is wallpaper so for background wallpaper of my desktop i'm gonna use this wallpaper and for me it is really outstanding and it is really really amazing design of wallpaper that i'm gonna use so i found it on this link when you open it you can go to the right click and save image as like i did and here's the wallpaper and I'm gonna set this to the desktop background and these are results now it's much better my desktop is much brighter and it's more clean now uh, there is one more step if you want to do and for that step you will need a Photoshop so open the wallpaper in the Photoshop and what I did with this wallpaper I just did a little bit of edit for my customization if you want to on some way or somehow separate a skin from the desktop which I'm gonna do so here you can see that I have black bar on the wallpaper and how I did that is really simple just uh, click here on new layer and then click this select the what you want to paint and then select a black color then select brush tool and paint it and deselect it and here just low down opacity to your desired number uh, i have already edited wallpaper so i'm simply going to the file save as and then i'm gonna save this wallpaper custom type of wallpaper will be jpeg okay i'm done with editing so i will i will open this custom wallpaper and i'm gonna set this to my desktop background so i'm leaving up to you to play around with uh, wallpaper in the photoshop and then i'm just gonna set this skin to the wallpaper i just edited we have done also this step with wallpaper i'm moving on taskbar icons and apps okay now in this step taskbar icons and apps i have this pack of the icons and here i have application that will make shadow on my taskbar so uh, what you need to do you need to download the icons and in the description below uh, there will be a link to download this app that will make a shadow on taskbar so let's start uh, first uh, what you need to do with this bottom taskbar shadow exe uh, simply copy this app to the startup folder so here is the startup folder right click open and paste it here and from here run the app and like you see uh, the app is making a taskbar shadow which is really cool you can right click on the shadow you can close the app and you have the options here now you can play around with this but i'm gonna leave it as default now here is the icon pack with icons in icon format and png format okay we have two formats here and now uh, i will just quick go to the file explorer option view i will uncheck this only to show you the icons that i have so what you need to do you need to copy this folder to some location that it's not gonna be visible my location is local disk d icons and here you can see that i have this folder with these icons so now how to change uh, the icon and place it to the taskbar so like you see i have unpin 
the Google Chrome from my taskbar and if I type here Chrome uh, there is only exe file so if I go to properties uh, you can see I don't have option to change the icon uh, what you need to do if you are in situation like me you need to go to local disk C program files go to Google Chrome application here is the exe file of the application right click and pin to start menu now from this go to right click properties change the icon click on browse and now just find the location that you paste the folder with the icon so my location is local disk D icons and there is a uh, these icons here uh, you need to choose icon do not choose PNG so here uh, just look for your application click open click OK so after you change the icon of the application now simply in the start menu type your desired app so I'm gonna type Chrome right click and I will pin this to the taskbar okay and now I will type one more app and that is notepad right click and pin taskbar now how to center these icons on the taskbar simply go to the taskbar right click and go to the toolbars and check these links now drag this to the left and here just drag these icons to the center of the taskbar and now and now if I click on the right side of the taskbar you can see I don't have so much options but if I click on the left side you can see that I have these options that I need to uncheck so here uncheck the show text and uncheck show title and now simply you can just lock the taskbar but I'm not gonna do that I'm I will leave the taskbar unlocked so that's it about the centering the icons on the taskbar and now the final step is to make windows transparent or black glass effect you all already see that I have this glass effect during the tutorial so what you need to do here when you download systemtransparency.exe copy the app and then go to the start menu all programs and then look for startup folder right click open and then paste the app here and when you paste it you need to run the app from the startup folder when you run it app should be appear here and then you go right click setup at info and set the number of transparency do not set the number lower than 50 and when you set the number you can use this number and then check this box affect all explorer windows and click ok and that's it you should get the black glass effect every time when you start up the windows okay that's it for this tutorial I really hope that you will understand what I did here and whole process of customization of the windows so thank you for watching and see you next time bye